Extreme Speed is a racing game that was developed and published by Phoenix Games for the PlayStation 2 back in 2004 and this is a budget racing game that was released for the system. The game itself focuses more on track style racing where you race in different types of game modes that cover a variety of car types. Anything from classic cars to sports cars and coupes to more exotic high-end sports cars or race cars. The one thing to be familiar with this game is that it was also created by the same developers that created both the all-star racing series, five-star racing and all-star action among other racing games that were also part of a budget range that was originally released for the PlayStation 1 back in the day also. And when you see this game in action you can see that it has a very similar visual style to the graphics of those games released on the PS1. Although there is a drastic improvement in terms of the overall visuals as it would have been on the PS2. Now the game itself even though it is a budget game does have some really nice visuals and graphics and it has a very cool selection of cars that are on offer with access to classic model types anything from like MG coupes to the likes of a Renault Alpine A110 all the way up to likes of replicas of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 5 even a Dodge Viper and other high-end exotic sports cars from the likes of the Porsche Boxster, Audi TT and other replicas of exotic race cars from the likes of even Mercedes and other brands. So there's definitely enough cars here to enjoy getting used to and getting familiar with in the game. But aside from that the game does lack in a lot of areas as even though there is a decent selection of cars that are available to race as there are a limited number of tracks and even with game modes as each mode in question to gain access to the cars is broken down into an individual mode so to gain access to each of the cars you have to play either through classic sports rally or exotic in order to access the cars from that category now the game itself to play is decent it does have some decent handling physics although it can be a little bit on the fiddly side at times so you do have to get used to it to get a feel for the handling physics of each of the cars in question as some were definitely a lot faster to use than others but as with the likes of the all-star racing series is on the ps1 when you play through the races unlike those other games this does have a few additional game modes where you can play in the likes of a championship or an arcade mode the original type of games on the ps1 didn't really give you that pretty much from the get-go you had access to all the cars and tracks available in those games and you could just play them like as if you were playing on a demo whereas this game does have some level of progression like you can play like in a championship mode where you do have to earn points based off the number of wins that you get so that in itself will gradually allow you to unlock additional features throughout the course of play compared to the original games the one thing you'll notice very familiar with this as well is a lot of the cars that were in the likes of those games are also in this but they've just been spruced up with the visual style of the PlayStation 2 because the one thing that was heavily criticized with those games back on the PS1 a lot of them were just rebranded or repackaged games where they all used very similar tracks or pretty much the same tracks and even the exact same cars and models of previous games but they were just repackaged under a different name. Now luckily enough when it comes to this game here they haven't really done it as such because there was only one of these games. They haven't really done it as such but they have brought back a lot of the car models from the PS1 games but they've just spruced them up a little bit. But that in itself doesn't really matter because again it's taken a lot of what was old and just added it onto something that was relatively new at that time in that format. But even in saying that, this game was released around the same time as those other games on the PS1. So they were all developed within the same time frame as they were released for both platforms pretty much simultaneously. So it does have some unique features and for a budget game, it's definitely one of the better looking visually in terms of what's available for the PlayStation 2. As there were a ton of racing games released on the system and believe it or not, there was an incredible amount of budget racing games that were released from the system, all with the idea 
idea to allow smaller independent companies and developers to get their foot in the door with developing games for the PlayStation and even the PlayStation 2. So this here would have been one of those games. But it's an interesting concept but although there are better racers on the system but if you would like to see what these type of racing games are about as there are a lot of people out there that do play them and that did enjoy them back in the day and if you would like to revisit them they are worthwhile doing so just for that experience alone. Now they're not perfect but they will allow you to gain some fun just for a quick and short playthrough and I would love to know your thoughts of extreme speed for the PlayStation 2. What are your thoughts in this game? Do you even recognize this game compared to even similar games also released by the same developers on the PS1 and if so have you played them in the day and if so have you played them yourself back in the day and what do you think of them? Be sure to share your stories down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content around similar types of budget racing games that were also released on the PS2 back in the day then be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated when future videos are released and if you would also like to see content around similar racing games that were also released on the PS2 be sure to check out the playlist on the screen to see more of those games in action so be sure to check them out and I will see you all over in the next one